Hey guys, so recently I was working on a project where I needed to sort a query loop based on my ACF field of a date. So today I'm gonna to show you exactly how to do that. All right, so here's the demo page I've set up. This emulates exactly the same type of query loop I had set up for my client site, um, which is basically a very basic <laughs> event schedule with the dates and artist name. And as you can see uh, by default, uh, when you post posts, right, publish posts, um, they're gonna post in order of when you publish them, not by the date of the event because it doesn't know that. So what I'm wanting to do is put these in order of soonest to latest so that the query loop uh, shows the closer up events first and the further away last. So what we first need to do is jump into edit our page. Now I'll open up my editor here on the side panel so we can dive in and look and get to our query loop. Now, the first step we need to take is add a parameter to our query loop here to ensure that the PHP code we're going to add is going to tie into this action. So we're gonna select and go to order by and order by date is already selected for us. That's what we want to do. Um, now it might seem easy that, well, why doesn't that just automatically order that by date for us? Well, because we're using a custom field, right? And as you see here, my custom field um, is brought in through a template tag system. Uh, this is implemented from Snippet Club by Taylor Drayson. Go ahead and give that look it's a really powerful system uh, that makes it so much easier to pull in dynamic fields uh, to your site so that's how i'm pulling it in here this is a custom field in acf um, called event date and so um, the query loop setting for order by date doesn't understand that it's reading the acf field right so we need to add some php in order to call to it all right, so first we need to go to our grid block within our query loop and add a CSS class. So select your grid block, scroll down to additional CSS, and I'm going to use order-by-date. Um, use something that you're going to remember because we need to utilize this in the PHP. So go ahead and hit update. And then we're going to jump back into our dashboard and we'll go to appearance theme file editor now i am using a child theme and so i'm going to go to my child theme functions.php file and this is where we're going to enter the php code now believe it or not um, these steps are buried within the generate blocks documentation so that is exactly where i'm going to go grab the php code um, i will go ahead and drop this link to the documentation in the description below all right, so we've already completed these initial steps, and now we're gonna go to example C, the date values, right? This is exactly what we're trying to sort. So I'm gonna grab this PHP code, copy it, come back to our functions.php file, paste that in. And now we need to make a couple changes. First is the class name right here, order by priority. We want ours to say order by date or insert whatever it is, the CSS class you inserted on your grid block. And then we've got meta key. This is going to be the custom field name. We're gonna do event underscore date. Type is a date field and order ascending. So this is correct based on what we're looking for. We want soonest to oldest. Um, if we wanted to do it, invert that, we could say descending. Okay, so we'll go ahead and update that PHP file, come back to our event schedule. And so we'll notice, right, first one, before I refresh, first one's June 22nd, then April, then July, then May. Um, so now let's refresh. And there we have it. They are all sorted in order from soonest to latest. So now it's March 13th, March 19th, and so on and so forth. All right, so that's really the power of a little bit of PHP um, and tweaking your query loop to be able to sort it by a custom field. If you take a look at that documentation by Generate Blocks, 
they give you some other examples you can utilize uh, if you're using, say, a custom field with a numbering system and you want to order your query loop based on those numbers, you can do that as well, or even uh, sort by alphabetically uh, based on a field. So go ahead and take a look. It makes it really quick and easy and a great tool to have in your back pocket. Thanks a lot for watching. We'll see you guys soon.